Nearly two dozen cities and towns in the state of Texas have outlawed abortion within their city limits. It is part of a movement called Sanctuary Cities for the Unborn. 20 cities and towns in Texas have passed an enforceable measure outlawing abortion within their city limits. The town of Carbon, Texas was the latest to join earlier this week. Officials there voted unanimously to ban abortion. Joining us now is Mark Lee Dixon, director with Right to Life of East Texas and founder of the Sanctuary Cities for the Unborn Initiative. Mark, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, great to be with you. Tell us a little bit more about this initiative, when and why it started and what exactly it does. Well, this initiative was started in June of 2019 and when Wascom, Texas became the first city in the nation to outlaw abortion by the passing of an enforceable ordinance. And so many cities at that point had done resolutions, but no city had actually passed an ordinance. Now, a resolution is a statement, but an ordinance is an actual law. And so what these ordinances do is immediately, it makes abortion outlawed within the city limits. These cities did this because they didn't want an abortion facility coming to their city. Uh, the other night in Carbon, when the vote to outlaw abortion uh, was unanimous, unanimous, that is, uh, tell us, how did that feel? Oh, it was great to see the 20th city outlaw abortion. And more and more cities are wanting to do this, and they're seeing the need to. Uh, this year, President Biden and, and Vice President Harris said that they want to see abortion access in every single zip code, which has caused some cities to really wake up and realize that with under this administration, they are not safe and that they need to do their part to make sure abortion never happens in their cities. Yeah, Mark, and um, you had mentioned that the ordinances are uh, enforced. Abortion is, however, still legal in the state of Texas. So exactly how does how, how is that enforced? Well, so the pre-row statutes, which have never been repealed here in the state of Texas, they're still on the books here in Texas. And so the law of Texas still regards abortion as a criminal act. Now, this ordinance, what what these ordinances do is it states that very clear that abortion is a criminal act according to the pre-row statutes which have never been repealed but it has two enforcement mechanisms and those enforcement mechanisms is the public enforcement mechanism and the private enforcement mechanism the public enforcement mechanism is dependent upon other factors such as return uh, the overturning of roe v wade or uh, decisions of the court and the private enforcement mechanism is immediately enforceable. It's not dependent upon Roe v. Wade being overturned or anything else. And what that says is that immediately, if an abortion takes place within the city limits of these cities, then a lawsuit can be brought by any of the family members of the deceased unborn child against the abortionist and anyone who aids and abets the abortionist. Well, we don't have a lot of time left, but I'm curious, are there any other cities in Texas or maybe any other states that you know of that are looking to join the movement? And also, if people want to become involved, how can they do so and where can they find that information? There are several cities across Texas. We've got everywhere from uh, Athens, Texas, where I'm at right now, to Gorman, Texas, to De, De Leon, Texas, to Odessa, Texas. Uh, and on May 1st, the citizens of Lubbock will vote to see if they want abortion outlawed in their city. People can find out more at www.sanctuarycitiesfortheunborn.com, where we have a petition that they can sign if they want to see abortion outlawed in their city. Now, Mark, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for what you do. We appreciate it. Mark Lee Dixon, director with Right to Life of East Texas and founder of the Sanctuary Cities for the Unborn Initiative. Thank you again, Mark. Thank you.